What's happening guys, it's Brad, and welcome to a rewards video today on the Harland of Hope and Glory. Now as always, links down to the other series are down in the description, just check them out below, as well as my Twitter tag at Brad861 as well. Basically it's just going to be a rewards video today, there's going to be no gameplay or anything because I haven't really had time to play some games. But what I'm going to do, I've got three weeks off soon so I'll be able to grind some games out. Actually, if you look at the screen now anyway, I am now at a 15 to 7 uh, deficit on my wins and losses. And uh, that was after playing some rivals to make sure that we got some good rewards. I have taken untradeables in the rewards. Now, I was a little bit disappointed to see that in the team of the week, as we can go and hopefully view it here, that Mbappe didn't get a team of the week like everybody thought he was going to. However, it seems like EA are dropping a new promo, the uh, Rule Breakers promo uh, it looks a little bit similar to like what the shapeshifters I would have expected for Halloween would have been um, so I'm not sure whether they're just releasing a new promo or we're gonna get this kind of instead of Halloween or Halloween's gonna be a bit different this year who knows but the, basically the reason Mbappe didn't get that is because it looks like he's getting a right wing card in the rule breakers promo I'm sure you've all just seen that fly attack on my head he's for it in a minute so in the team of the week, any cards that I kind of look to probably would change my team. We're looking at Werner and Rashford. Depay, maybe as a super sub, uh, just because I don't think we're going to build a team around him and I've got mostly untradeable rewards. Obviously, if we got Muller, that would look pretty good as one of our midfielders to maybe bring on for like Royce or Emre Chan. Um, other than that, Delaney uh, is the only other person I maybe consider changing things around for because he looks incredible. Um, but then I'll probably, I'll just see how much he is actually. He's not that expensive, if we did want to change him I'll maybe just go out and buy him, but I, he looks like an incredible card, it's just that centre backs wise at the moment I need, I'm in for a big upgrade um, and I kind of want to stick to the La Liga route and maybe look at seeing, in point of fact let's have a look at that again, let's go and see what the team of the week Ramos has changed to, because um, he would be the pick to change the players I have in my team. Uh, maybe him and Edda Tau. So let's see what his price has gone to. So he looks to be around about 250,000 coins, 240. Uh, there's one at 237 there. 237. Let's go and check on Footbin. 233. Um, so we've got the coins if we wanted to. Uh, but I'd quite like to build a bit of a balance first and maybe do some more trading at a higher level to get some more coins on the account. Anyway. Like I said, this is a rewards video, so we'll come on and get the rewards. Got an SBC pack or two here, as well as mostly um, the rewards from uh, Div Rivals today. So let's go and open the first Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. I want to see some special cards. I want to see some walkouts. As we start with absolutely zilch. James Rodriguez. Wouldn't have been too bad last week. Or was this one of those one to watch as an SBC anyway, wasn't it? Not too bad though, we've got a couple of good like fodder ones or league SBC type ones, like the lead centre back there. Um, and any of these I think really, unless like I think they're going to go for any value, like Gonalons might go because he's French in La Liga. Uh, but all the rest of them, I'm just going to swap them over and quick sell those for the coins. We'll get rid of that as well and send that all for 366 coins. Let's go and open the other Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. No board again, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get a decent super sub or just decent fodder again. Marisic from Lazio. Okay, quite a few players in that pack. Newly transferred Markel as well. And what is our duplicate on the end is Marisic himself. So. We'll list him up, you never know, someone might want him or some people might already be buying uh, the Lazio team ahead of time. Let's go and open, let's go Prime Mixed Players, they're my favourite pack, the Rare Electron Players pack. Nothing in this one, I'm going to skip it now. We just want to see something, I don't think I've seen many walkouts on this account so far. This was a tradable one as well, so that's a shame. Uh, any decent leagues? We've got a Stad Rems player there. Obviously, at the moment, I doubt he's worth a lot, but I imagine in the future, 
when the SBC comes out, he'll be worth a little bit. We've got an Aston Villa one there as well, who's only 200 coins at the moment. So again, another one for potential. Uh, I don't think these guys will sell those. Quick sell those for coins. Let's open the Rare Electrums, my favourite pack in the game. Come on, don't let me down. Yes, we've got a walkout. Come on. Be a good one. Oh, Kalor. Kalor, Kalor, Kalor. No more than fodder, really, at 87 rated. But we did get a walkout in the Rare Electrums. It's proof in the pudding, what I say about those packs. Oh, and that would have been a nice one for... Oh, it's not. It's tradable. Okay. So, I don't think... I don't know how much Felipe Anderson will be. I was going to say, he's um, a Porto card here, so not going to be used, but um, potentially for the SBCs in the future, given that he's now dropped down to a thousand coins, they were really expensive uh, when the SBC for the UCL marking matchups came out. I will hold on to him, I think. Quite a few good, again, league cards there. We've got Iago Aspas, who obviously you know is actually in my team, um, and actually is brilliant on the left wing. I can't tell you how good he is. We'll list him up. We'll list him up. A team of the week from last week. And we'll list Kessie up in case anyone wants him. I think we'll keep holding Navas for now for fodder because he's probably really low in price. Well, he's not too bad. Living on 12k. Um, but really, we're waiting for a decent SBC. Maybe to use him or to sell him to make some coins. Let's go with the small, rare gold players packs. Now, I know definitely the two of the three rare gold packs are uh, untradables. We've got a board. Oh, it was an inform. I didn't see the change in the colour of flair. We've got Yaboa, 93 pace, 82 dribbling. I mean, he's not likely to be a super sub. He's likely to go into an SBC. Let's get this one up on the market. And we'll just sell this guy. Oh, it's not. oh I didn't even see... How do I not even see Ericsson sitting there as an 85? Completely bypassed him because these two uh, the team of the week of the Cotton Ball card. Nice, nice bit of fodder again. And the left back Kamara. Nice, so not bad at all actually. We've got two decent fodder cards. Right, let's start with the rare gold packs. I think, I'm assuming one of these is going to be tradable. Come on. It's boards again. It's Onana. My favourite Cameroonian goalkeeper. 84 rated this year. How many times me and Tori packed him last year? I can't tell you. So many times. Fred, is he still worth money? He is. We'll get rid of him. Let's see, so it looked to be around about 20,000. And he is... 21,000 coins. That's a nice pull, that. For an 81 rated card, still be 21k. A lot of others have dropped. Like Richarlison, has dropped massively. Asensio, I doubt, is worth any money. Anana, I doubt, is worth anything. We'll keep him in the club. Camp and centre forwards? No, nothing there at the moment. Nice, though. That's a nice gold pack, and that was a tradable one, so we did get to sell them on. Pretty sure these ones now are untradable. So this is where we're looking for our Rashford, Depay... No board, unfortunately. As we get Goncalo Guedes. Good person at the start of the year to have as maybe a starting player. But not at this stage of the game. And I think we might have it untradeable. Oh no, it's tradable. Let's stick him up then. And Nkulu, who I always think has got a good looking card. He's going in the bin because we've already got one. Last rare goal pack on the rewards then. So not too bad actually. We've got a couple of walkouts. Um, oh, we've got a Conor ball card that's blue. Yeah, we've got an Ericsson. we got 21,000 coins from Fred. And we've got a Julian Brandt there as well. That He would have been worth a little bit of coins. But again, he's going to be fodder. We did actually use him in the team, but he moves like a bus. All in all, that's not too bad. That's not too bad for our rewards there. Obviously, it has been rewards day. 
let me know down in the comments what you have managed to pack from these rewards so far uh, one of my friends uh, has got a top 200 rewards so he's having his opened on a stream tonight uh, I believe from road to shore he said so looking forward to seeing what he gets in his rewards there as well as always like I say links down in the description please subscribe to the channel turn the notification bell on as well it'll be a massive help and when we do get to 100 uh, subscribers I will be doing a giveaway for FIFA points so we've got all these nice promos coming up get subscribing to be a part of that giveaway thanks for tuning in I've been b -Rad.